What's up, people? It's your boy Leaf, and today we are gonna be talking about my settings. A few of you guys have been asking me what I run in my settings. Um, so I'm gonna try to show you guys what I am running. Also, I am uh, gonna try to edit this not so much. So it'll just kind of be kind of a live commentary. So I apologize if I stumble over my words and then repeat shit over and over again. But this is how it looks like without editing or not too much editing. But I'm gonna teach you guys how to change this and make this look more like this. Look how nice that looks. So freaking nice. And I just wanna say off the bat, uh, I give you uh, console players a lot of credit for being able to play on something this shitty, like this, right? Enemy UAV over but uh, so for my settings, I am running, let's see, let's go to general. I am doing 120 FOV. And uh, I'm sorry, you console players, you guys cannot do that. Also, I am playing on effective compared to independent. So independent, it looks like this. It zooms in like that. And also the recoil looks like that. But if we go to affected, it doesn't zoom in as much. And there's a lot less recoil. Um, there's still recoil there. If you guys can see here, I'm not going to put the recoil. There's still recoil, but the recoil is a lot more minimal to manage, especially during effective. So independent, it looks like this. And you can still control independent. It's just a little harder. And for effective, it looks a lot cleaner, which is why I like running it. And then also for brightness, I have it at 65. Uh, super important because I don't know why they say this is barely visible. If this is barely visible, you're not going to see any rose skins. Okay, so make sure you make that a little bit brighter. Yeah, it's going to look a little bit more washed out, but screw it, man. Like, they're not going to nerf that rose skin anytime soon because people pay money to see that shit. So, you know, it is what it is. And then for these HUD bounds or whatever, you want it the closest you can get to the side of the screen and on top of the screen because the closer you could get to... Uh, the sides and tops or whatever the more room you're gonna have to see enemies so if someone's standing right here let's say then um you know it's gonna be all cluttered you might not even see them because your stupid icons are blocking and then i skip introduction tip tools yeah leave that thing on i have uh subtitles disabled i know some people like having subtitles on because sometimes you'll hear random enemies say like throwing whatever or planning to play more but uh I just feel like it's just too much for me to deal with, like having to read on that bottom uh, screen and also at the same time try to play. I'm not that great at multitasking. I could barely talk while running around right now. So that's why I don't have subtitles on. And then for colorblind, I'm not even gonna say this word because I do not know how to speak, uh, but that's what I'm running. If you're running on disabled, it looks like this. Let's see, let's look at this car. Disabled, oops. And then, that's how this looks like. It's kind of washed out. And then this is this is the setting. So that's what I'm running on for that. And then let's see, colorblind target. I put it on both instead of just the interface or the world. So both the interface and all my stuff looks good. Um, and then minimap, I have it on square just because look how much of the minimap you're missing. Right? If there's an enemy standing right here and they're shooting at like your teammate or something, you won't be able to see this. Or if there's a car driving past you, you're not going to be able to see that. So really important, make sure you have that on. And then a minimap rotation, I have it enabled. Because if you have it disabled, look, I'm, my arrow is just moving. And I'm not that great. I get super confused. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, now you know this is like north. This is north or whatever on the map. But I like my minimap turning with me. And the apex laid... Well, in Apex Legends, Jesus Christ. Um, let's see. The minimap doesn't rotate with you, so it confuses the crap out of me. So I couldn't play that crap. Um, and then for this, it's just the letters or whatever. Ta yeah, text chat. And then here, super important for PC. If you guys want to see why you're lagging or whatever, I have my FPS counter on this top right corner or left corner. And then server latency, packet loss. And then also I have like my GPU and CPU. Um, but this is super important if you're playing and you want to see why your bullets aren't registering. It might be because your latency is high or you're getting weird packet laws. Uh, I've been getting some shitty servers lately. I don't know why. Like I, I just did this like graphics thing again. 
just because I lagged out of uh, plunder, which is kind of weird while I'm looking at my settings. It doesn't make any sense. But uh, yeah, so look, I have 2% back loss, as you guys can see. I don't know why the servers are so shitty lately. It's kind of making me sad. And then let's go to graphics. So, like, my point is exactly, it just freaking froze on me again, and it brings me to the screen. Okay. Let's, come on. Come on. Why are you lagging? Okay, options, graphics. I'm going full screen. This is my. Uh, you know, monitor or whatever. This is my GPU if you guys are curious while I'm running. 2060 Super. And then re refresh rate is at 60. And because that's just my monitor, my monitor caps at 60, sadly. And then my render resolution, I have a 2560 1440 size screen, so which is why also it's running at 60 FPS because if you want a screen this size and run it at like 1440 is super expensive and this monitor was expensive already so i was like i'm not gonna you know pay some more money for that shit in hindsight maybe i should but i was looking for quality for youtube for you guys and having a wider screen gives you more pixels for it to render onto youtube to make it look a little bit more clean so that's what i'm running i'm max resolution right here uh let's see and then here I just have an automatic sync. This is disabled. Custom frame rate. This is a custom. I don't know what this all is. I'm telling you guys the truth. I don't know. NVIDIA highlights. I disable that. It's kind of pointless. Uh, reflex low latency. I put this on enabled. And then display gamma 2.2. And then right here for the textures, stream quality. This is logged. And then I just put everything on low and disabled because who really needs all that stuff? Maybe for the uh, bullet impacts, this is kind of important because we want to see recoil or whatever. Uh, but then shadows, I put this on normal cash, disable, 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 all this other stuff. And then let's see stretch. This is zero and Nvidia. DLSS I have on performance okay because if you don't have it on disabled or if you have it on performance it doesn't look it still runs nice but if I have a laser oh I should have put on attack laser dude can I kill myself somehow okay I killed myself and now I'm gonna have a laser okay so I've noticed on performance and uh ultra is that what it was performance ultra look at this shit dude they keeps freaking doing this why like i already chose my class dude. i don't need to do that go to options do what you're supposed to do come on activision get your shit together so where is it so nvidia dlss if it's on performance or ultra performance the laser is gonna be like straight on the reticle you see that but if you switch it, and here comes the lag again. I don't know why it keeps doing this. A few moments later. Okay, it crashed. We'll be right back. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? I'm not even doing anything. I'm just looking at my options. All right, so we got to freaking do this again because this game doesn't know how to freaking not crash. Um, so like I was saying, right? Let's do this. So you guys see the little laser? It's actually on the site the middle of the site but if you switch freaking dlss please do not crash you stupid game but if you put it on balance or quality check this out it'll actually be a little off you notice how it's not exactly in the middle it's kind of slightly to the right hand side so if you if you actually shoot oh no i gotta put my bullet things on where is it at? Bullet impacts enabled. So if you actually shoot, it's like slightly to the uh, slightly to the right. You saw slightly to the right. So super important if you're using this Nvidia DLSS to either use performance or ultra. So I just leave it at performance unless you want to leave it at zero or like disabled. I leave it at performance because now 
it's actually in the middle of the freaking crosshairs. So that's what I like to use for DSF E L S S. Uh, depth of view, depth of feel. Oh my god. Whatever it is. Okay, this thing. I have disabled motion blur. Make sure that's disabled. Unless you want to make it look crazy and super intense. But if you're trying to play relatively competitively, make sure world motion blur and weapon motion blur is at zero film grain this makes it look a lot more gritty so i want it nice and crisp so i can see motherfuckers when they're running rose skins so that's why i'm running on that and then uh, more importantly i'm sorry for all you console people and like i said in the beginning i give you guys a lot of props for playing on console because this is shitty as fuck but if you guys switch it to the filters i'm gonna show you guys so look how clean this looks this looks so much cleaner right so these are my settings for my Nivea filters uh, make sure it's this exact format so color first brightness and then sharpen so color this is what I have it on so tint color tint intensity temperature and vibrance make sure you guys take a picture of that and then here for brightness I have this for all my settings very important take a picture or pause whatever you guys need to do and then for sharpen, app sharpen at 65 and ignore film grain at 15. So this is really important to use if you guys are, you guys have the ability to, to make it look a little more clean. Jeez, dude. Missed all my shots. Okay, so that's that. But the thing too is if you're using this filter, it kind of sucks because if you're inside of a building, Jeez, dude. Can you not? So, if you're inside a building, uh, let's go over here. So, when you're in a building like this, you, you can see inside, right? Like, all these dark corners look nice, but because of how it looks, when you're looking through a window, it's it's really hard to see through it with these Anivi filters on. So, you can mess around a little bit and adjust how you want the filters to be. Right, so like this brightness contrast, you could like either make it more or less or whatever. But me personally, I just say screw it because I'd rather see people inside this building than outside, right? Because I could always rotate out of buildings. If I'm in a building, I'm stuck in a building with someone and I'm not gonna be able to see them in the corners. So I'd rather, you know, not be able to see people like this and just like hop out get into a better position then you know not be able to see anybody in here plus it's super important if you're inside of a building like this and you're you know either playing it very slow it's important to just get the hell out of that building man like if you're holding a building like that you're kind of trapped people are going to know how to push you because they know you're in there they're just going to throw c4s like this like nade you like crazy one of their boys is going to be on this side and Moving someone's going to be on this side and they're just going to like hop in and like kill you or something you know so it's like it's better not to even have to worry about how shitty this is and worry more about what's inside because like i said if you're if you're, you're freaking clearing a room like this right you come in it's nice and clear but let's say if you guys don't have the filters if you guys don't have the filters on it's a lot it's a little harder to see you know i mean this is not the perfect room to show you guys but i'm just saying like these certain corners it's a lot harder to see as you guys can tell already but with the filters on, it's a little bit brighter. All right, and that's the settings for what I'm running on my PC. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what I uh, run on my PC, so that there you guys go. What the hell? Oh okay. shit! <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I'm running on my PC. Um, I do enjoy my filters. I'm sorry you guys can't do that name filters for you console people or the even the FOV, which totally sucks for you guys. And uh, I feel your guys' pain because I would not be able to play like that. Or I will be able to play like that. It's just so much harder. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, smash that like button. If you guys found some value, go ahead and do me. Oh my god! If you guys found some value, do me a favor. You know, comment down below. Let me know. Um, I think that's about everything. I hope, hopefully that brightness and dark room situation makes sense to you guys because like i said i'd rather play more aggressive and not hold that window um i 
think that's all my options or things I need to tell you guys about. <clears throat> Let's see if we go kill this guy real quick. Yeah, remember me, bitch? Remember me? Uh, but yeah, so I hope you get to the. Oh my god. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Comment down below if you guys are having fun in Warzone. Uh, let me know if you guys need help with anything else. And I'll try to do my best. So I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Warzone. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.